Hi, my name is Jesse Jung. I'm a retinal specialist here at East Bay Retina Consultants. Our group here is a group of five retina specialists primarily practicing visual retinal disease. We primarily utilize imaging as a very important part of the steps in practicing medicine as well as ocular care. That includes both ultra wide field imaging as well as OCT. These do not take the place of an eye examination but are ancillary tests that enhance the importance of the exam. So when we actually review these imagings with our patients before the exam, we can educate the patient utilizing the reviewing software in each of our lanes to go through what they have pathologically or if there's any concern that explains their visual disturbance or loss. So welcome to East Bay Retina Consultants. I'm going to walk you through a typical workflow from our patient standpoint. So as you can see, as they come through our office, our setup of our workflow is to go from straight from the front desk where our staff are working and we have our technician rooms here adjacent to the front entrance. They're actually interconnected by a door so we can actually do a 20 foot lane to do studies here, but primarily they're individual technician lanes that allow our patients to be dilated, worked up from a technician standpoint. Each office has a computer system in it so they can actually sit together with the patient as they get their vision tested and pressure checked. As you can see here, we actually double up some of our rooms here as multiple functionality because being a lean practice we're trying to maximize our space so not only is this can be used as a full dimension 120 foot lane for refraction but we also use the Zeiss visual field testing here and even as a retina practice for screening of medications such as hydroxychloroquine we can provide visual field testing in this office as well. So after our patients finish with the technicians for the non-dilated portion of the exam we actually bring them to the back part of our office, which actually is set up so that our office is split into multiple spaces where we can actually go into the multimodal imaging. This includes our wide field imaging room that is in this area. We have our Zeiss Cirrus system for OCT imaging, and we actually keep our medications in the same room because a lot of our patients do need treatments for both anti-VEGF as well as for diabetic macular edema, retinal vein occlusion, as well as macular degeneration. So we know that the medicine can be pulled at the same time as the patient's getting their images. So here in the OCT room, we have our Zeiss Cirrus 5000 here, which does both our high definition imaging with spectral domain, OCT, as well as OCT angiography. And we utilize this machine as a really important part of our screening for our patients. Majority of our retinal patients will get an OCT before examination because it is an integral part of the exam as well as imaging and education for our patients. So follow me here as we go into the back part of our office here. So our office is set up, we have three office spaces. Each one of them have flags here to let the physician know exactly where they need to go next. And typically what we'll be able to do is go into our exam room with our patients here. So once in the exam room, actually we have it set up to where we do have a scribe in our office. This individual allows us to concentrate on our patient and have our conversations with the patient doing the exam education part of this, as well as not have to pay attention to the EMR system. In addition, we have this dual monitor system, again, with the ability to show both the remote reviewing software as well as the ultra wide field system. So we'll start with going through this imaging information with our patient first. So typically we'll go through this and we'll discuss about the findings here on the OCT, looking at both the high definition OCT as well as the OCT angiography all of which may be relevant to the diagnosis and the current concerns. On top of that, one we'll do after that, we'll end up doing our exam. So throughout the examination, I'm usually dictating to my scribe so that I can have that information placed into the EMR system without interrupting the flow of the exam. As we discussed earlier, the flow and being lean on movements is our goal to make this process more efficient. Again, Starting from the front of the office to the imaging to the exam, we have now been able to go through the imaging, do the exam, as well as now discuss the plan with the patient. So after a discussion of the overall plan with our patient, each of our rooms are set up to have a multimodal function as well. We actually have in our offices the ability to do laser therapy here with both slit lamp as well as peripheral laser indirect as well. So as I showed you before, we actually have our three exam lanes that have multifunctionality to it. And if we go into our last lane here, not only is it still an exam lane set up for evaluation 
examination as well as discussion. Again, we can do the ability to do ultrasound or B-scan ultrasound in our office to check for abnormalities if there is not a view through a cataract or vitreous hemorrhage. And then we also have our slit lamp coherent laser, which allows us to do treatment with panretinal photocoagulation or focal laser therapy, all in the same office. One final advice I have for physicians looking to improve their efficiency is to look at their old process. Take time to actually watch the flow of a patient through your practice from check-in to check-out. That way we can actually utilize the space well and not have patients end up going back where they've already been before. They're really the efficient use of space as well as time in each of those centers I think are really important ways to make your practice efficient and lean.